On today's podcast, we're going to answer the question, what does OSHA do? So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. As mentioned in the beginning, today we're going to be talking about what does OSHA do? But this is such an important topic that I want to make sure that we hit absolutely everything that we need to cover today to make sure that we're covering all of our bases. We generally keep things extremely high level. That's not going to change today. But like I said, I just want to make sure that we cover everything exactly as needed be. So what we're going to do is actually go to the audio portion of our broadcast and let you see a little bit behind the scenes of that world. So I'm going to go there right now. So over here you can see that we have our uh, what's called the audio boom which is what we do all of our podcasting from and it says on here what does OSHA do? So what I'd like to do is just show you exactly that and read exactly what it was that we put out there today and that was to provide a refresher OSHA is an acronym. It represents the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. And today, what we're going to do is tell you what does OSHA do. Taken directly from the official website, OSHA.gov, here's the answer. With the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970, Congress created the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, to ensure safe and healthy working conditions for workers by setting and enforcing standards and by providing training, outreach, education, and assistance. Employers are required to adhere to the standards provided by OSHA and in turn provide a safe workplace free from serious hazards. Employers are responsible for training employees in performing tests, providing PPE, and medical tests as mandated by means posting OSHA citations annually and not retaliating or discriminating against an employee. Now, not adhering to OSHA standards and requirements can result in injuries, fines, and even death. So make sure your facilities are operating above the OSHA standards and requirements at all times. And to take a much deeper dive into OSHA, visit OSHA.gov. So that's going to give you an extremely high level version of what OSHA does, but that's what we try to do is keep things absolutely short and sweet on this broadcast. So hopefully if uh, you have any questions, you can go to OSHA.gov. And until then, here's a word from one of our sponsors. You want an organized workspace. You want a safe and efficient way to lay out your shop or warehouse. But it takes forever to mask and paint the floor lines, only to watch them fade and smear and have to do it all over again. The solution? Mighty Line Tape. Mighty Line Floor Tape is simply the most durable floor tape available. It's seven times thicker than most other floor tapes. It's beveled on the edges so it can handle an army of forklifts. And it comes up anytime with no scraping and no residue. Why mess with the mess and the fumes of floor paint when Mighty Line has the rolls, shapes, colors, and signs that fall right in line with 5S standards? There's a place for everything, and everything has its place. That's why we're here. There's only one American made Mighty Line tape, the only durable stripe. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the vodcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the vodcast at WarehouseSafetyTips.com. And if you want to catch our podcast and or request a sample pack of Mighty Line, visit MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips. Thank you for watching Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.